In the last video, we discussed what component libraries are and how they are just a small part of the bigger ecosystem. Now let's see what a pattern library is. It is a mere misconception that people consider pattern libraries and component libraries to be the same. Pattern libraries feature collections of UI element groupings or layouts. If we talk in terms of the atomic design methodology, a component library can serve at the atom and the molecule level. For example, button, input field, labels, toggle, checkbox, etc. Whereas pattern libraries can be considered at the organism level, which is a little more complex. Examples of patterns can be side navigation, time picker, calendar, etc. This means patterns and components can be quite complementary and coexist within design solutions, even if they are not the same thing. Pattern libraries prove to be very useful, especially in complex project setups. Implementing a pattern library ensures quicker future growth, better consistency, and increased efficiency. That, and of course, it makes your end users' experience smooth. In the next video, we will try to understand how different teams use design systems. Looking forward to see you there. Until then, keep geeking.